Welcome back to Rainbows and Razor Blades, a show from the void. By the Gregorian calendar, it is currently the 10th day in the 5th month, the month of May, in the year of the Lord, 2022. By the French Revolutionary calendar of 1792, that sought to decimalize and enlighten people's way of keeping time, it is currently a little bit more than halfway through the month of Blossom, the month of Floreal. We come live today from Albany's Rural Cemetery in Menans, New York. Today is the first episode filmed here in the month of May, I believe. That may actually not be true. But today we're going to be walking around and I guess I'll be filming anything of note. I don't really have anything scheduled for today. Um, this is just where I am today. I feel really at peace and I'm happy to be alive. I feel really blessed to have made it another year to where I can check out some of the wonderful flowers that grow. And despite the, you know, industrial mowing, um, I think it'll be really beautiful to just exist and I'm going out dancing later. All right, these are enough of these. I'm going out dancing later, and um, my uh, my partner is currently at the library right now, finishing up their school paper, and uh, you know, I, I already finished my school paper, so I'm here, and yeah, I mean, I guess I'll be back when there's something of note. We'll be back after this. So here's something of note. We have three or four different species just right here. We have the violets. We have, and this is this is for real, the pussy toes. It's these ones. Yeah, let's see if I can get you a close-up of these. These are called pussy toes. And then these ones are little baby maple trees. Ooh. ooh. And then right here we have Trifolium pratense, the red clover. I don't know if there's nothing or something, but I heard something. Maybe like a mole or something. Hmm. Weird. I don't know. Pretty wacky. We haven't made it very far since I last stopped filming. I smoked a bowl. I should probably pick up my camera so I don't leave that. That'd be pretty shitty to lose that. We're gonna go check out the new trail today, I've decided. Wow, look how big this is. It's glorious. We're gonna go check out the new trail. Well, uh, it's an old trail, actually. It's quite an old trail. In fact, it used to be a road. Um, and they had asked for volunteers, and, uh, I felt, uh, you know, like, it'd be fun to do, but I ended up not going that day for some other reasons, but, um, I haven't actually been back to check out what the work was that they were seeking volunteers for, because I knew it was to clean up the trail. So, yeah, we're gonna go check out the trail, and I will show you when we're there. Wow. These are beautiful violets. They're white, obviously, but they are, in fact, violets, and it's interesting because they're not, like, mixed at all. Here, I'm just going to get the shade. Yeah, that's better. The white, white violets are the same species as the other violets. More red clover. You could tell it's red clover, actually. I should, t I should actually explain this. I'll probably explain this a bunch this year. Um, you can tell it's red clover because it's just like, it's bigger, but also there's like little hairs on it. These are mandrakes. They're a good plant. Not really too much else to say about them. They're chilling. 
What's up, Mandrake? Honestly? Same. Definitely same. Sanguinaria canadensis. The blood root. The flower, though. Virginia creepers here, too. I've been hanging out with this person, and I need more time alone. And, um, it's tough because they are from out of town. And, um, so today, I think we both kind of just needed some space to be ourselves. And they definitely have to work on their school stuff. Look at all these. Wow. And, um, so, so yeah, so I came here to just kind of be myself, and it's just like, once the dark thoughts flood in, it's kind of just like, I can't, I can't have people in my space like that, and, and it wouldn't be healthy if I did. The only reason I can remain healthy to anybody at any time is because I'm able to take my space, and, uh. Lately, I've just been a stage character. It's been really frustrating to me. And I'm just acting through life, and I'm really sick of it. Because if I acted honestly, people seriously, not only would they be terrified of me, they'd ditch me. Because I'm a scary fucking person. So I was saying, um, like I just, <laughs> I need to be bleh, more authentic and that is impossible, impossible for me to do around certain types of people. And part of that is my family. And, uh, this person is close enough to my life that they've started to feel like they're part of the family. And it's, uh, it's not good. That is my favorite plant. I don't know what that noise is. That's black. That plant, that's Virginia creeper. Alright, so here we go. This is the new, this is the new trail. So, you can see that there's some work has been done. They have, well, I mean, this was actually last year, but... But this is it. Yep, yeah, you can see already stuff's been done. It looks like they filled in some rocks, then some littler rocks, and then some mulch, maybe, and then some wood clippings, maybe? I can't tell if that's like they put this here on purpose or they just were sawing something here. Oh yeah, okay, I see. They're trying to stop the erosion. Hm. Wow, look. They made it walkable. <laughs> it was not really super walkable before. I don't really have too much to comment on. I mean, it's like, you're seeing it. This was all the work that got done. This is fucking lit. Yeah, we'll see up ahead, like, what it really turns into, you know? See, like, they have a little sign on it. Here, I'll show you. Trail markers. So they use extreme caution. Walk at your own risk. They are not fucking around. Same. Use at your own risk. This is a nice area that they've carved here now. Because this was like, this was this. You know? I mean, look at the difference. I think it's called path grading. I don't know if that's actually correct though. But yeah, they had spray painted it out a couple of days prior. A week or two prior. Yeah, look at this. This is so fucking sick. Wow. <laughs> I knew it. I knew they'd do something. I hope that they do something like this on the other part, on the other side. Because this is this is fantastic. This is this is completely new. This has been here only since the very first of this month. So this is new.
wow. I, I, was, I was considering whether they may try to do something like this. Um, and I wish I had been part of that project, but I had been very preoccupied and truth be told, would have just sat there staring at everyone. That would have been really creepy because like people don't really understand, you know, when you, uh, well, when you're going through it, like, you know, I, I haven't really lost a loved one that's affected me this way, but that's the, that's oftentimes the lie that I'll tell like people that I don't care about that. I just, I need them to have the same emotional response. Like it's very manipulative behavior, I suppose, but I need them to have a response to me. That's to the effect of like, they tell them like, Hey, are you okay? It's like, I just, my mom just died. Please just leave me alone. Right? Because that's the same way that I'm feeling inside. I just don't want to tell them like, hey, I'm transgender. Okay? I have a partner. And every time that we have sex, I get horribly dysphoric. But usually like a rubber band effect. And not in that moment, but hours after. To such effect that I disassociate in the days and weeks prior. Or, I'm sorry, uh, following, like subsequent. And where that that does happen... It becomes very difficult for me to, like, imagine some guys who's like, hey, can you hand me that shovel? And that's what I'm thinking about. Right? And that's why, that's a, that's a lot of the time, why I just don't show up to these kind of things. Because I'm just like, so I just tell people if I have to, right? Like, if I, you know, I just be like, yeah, my mom just died. Like, sorry. Like, and the other thing is, is that it actually isn't always a response to, you know, sometimes it's just straight up autism, where I'm just, I'm actually not listening. Like, they're, they're talking, but like my song says, she's talking, but I'm not listening. I was late to your christening, I was, like, it goes on. Spare me the details, you're modern, I'm abstract, we can't be together, but this sex is fantastic. <laughs> This, this path just became so much more walkable. And I really like that it's like, this is actually the woods. Like this is a woods reservation path that does not, like this is like, this preserves the nature of it. And I really like that because this is such a nice area. And for so long, it's been so muddy. And for so long, it's been like impossible to navigate with groups that aren't as experienced a hiker as I am because I mean, yeah, it was just, like, unmanageable. Like, I couldn't bring my dead mother here. It wouldn't work. I have a dark sense of humor. That's another reason I find it difficult to associate with, like, normie groups. Especially normie groups that I know will be good people. Especially normie groups that I know will be good people who are probably... The flicker. Flick you off. See this little redhead? There's, uh, there's the bigger ones, the pileateds. And then the smaller ones are the downies. So this one's, like a, I think, a downy. Not a flicker. I said flicker, but I meant downy. And, um... Yeah. Wow, this is this is a really incredible project that I, I wish I could have been stable enough to... be part of, because... I don't say safe things. That's another thing. Like, I don't... I don't say safe things to people when I'm feeling unsafe. <laughs> wow. Check this out. This right here is called wood geranium, and it is one of my favorite, if not my favorite flowers. So I'm going to get a good video, and I'll be right back after this. This is called wood geranium, and uh, this is this is formerly, and, and still I guess currently, but it's like now there's like a bunch that are tied, for my favorite flower. This was one of the very, very early flowers that I learned that brought me into the world of flowers. Because I just saw something like this and realized that like, this thing has more sex appeal than I do. Are you seeing this? Ah! Um, and that's, so that's what's interesting about things like volunteer time. Like, this was like a volunteer project that just, when the hours aligned, I just couldn't justify spending... Justify is not even the really word that I'm looking for. I just, I couldn't do it. It's not even about justification. I just couldn't do it. And I was pretty disappointed with that. And I hope that there'll be another day that they do another big project like this. Because I wonder, like, how much of this was done by, like, individuals. Right? Wow. Like, this, you can see how hard people were working out here. You can see each little shovel. Although maybe it was not a shovel. Maybe it was, like, a... Like, I don't know. And that's the thing. Like, I'm upset that I don't have the story. It just feels like I missed out, you know? 
I don't feel like I let anyone down because no one was like depending on me. But I, I'm just like, you know, I feel it kind of just left out. Like I would have wanted to do that. And there's been critical, maybe the majority of critical life moments where you're supposed to join in or be invited to join in that I missed. Most, most checkpoints of security that most people actually do if they're going to be sociable make it through sometimes with great success sometimes with ease especially with like sexual appeal with that flower back there like you're telling me that if you had the choice to hump that flower or me you would choose me it's a strange choice i guess maybe that's why you are not a bee and bees only try to hunt me when i wear this shirt which i get to be fair i try to bang me too if i was a bee I mean, I guess I would see an ultraviolet, so they'd probably be seeing some colors that you don't even understand exist. Wow, look at this. A whole ramp. That's pretty cool. This doesn't feel like the, the bathroom anymore. This feels like a trail. <laughs> this is really, really cool. keeps going but i'd rather go this way i like this i've seen enough of the woods so yeah thanks for joining me today that was a really beautiful walk sorry that um i couldn't be part of the the creation process because uh, could you imagine like because i'm always this this doesn't turn off like what and who i am and what i'm saying doesn't turn off ever is that wood flocks or pra prairie flocks? Prairie flocks. Beautiful. Gotta get a picture. We'll be right back. I gotta get a picture. Sarah, uh, priestess, how do you avoid ticks? I don't. I pull them off me. I'm not a fucking coward. Sarah, what if you miss one? I'll die of Lyme disease. It's fine. So I wrote out. I wrote out all my thoughts, and like it didn't. It didn't feel like a breakup, but it felt as dramatic. It's like a breakup is like, right? This is more like one keeps going. The other, that's the end of it. That's kind of how it feels, like, you know, that's what the feelings seem to be doing. And, um, it's because the pole has already switched. It's like, it's like the, the kinetic realm is still, but the energy is already doing this. So it's time to, like, realign that, you know? That's how energy works, I think. And especially in a relationship. So, I'll have to figure out a way to put that to more words. Because I don't really know exactly what the change is going to be yet. Um, I don't really know. I'm trying to find like a good example of cat toes to be polite. Because they're called pussy toes. A priestess in a collective utopia. Everyone would wash the ticks off them. Because what if hypothetically you walk in my yard and I get ticks because of you like it's COVID. Look at me. On the pussy toes. Um, there's more pussy toes. I'm gonna take a picture of these ones. This is the uh, the, the seeds of uh, pussy toes. So I'll try. I yanked this one out. <laughs> It felt kind of bad, but at the same time, like, there's enough of them, it's not going to stop it from propagating. And, uh, it will get mowed, so it's not a big deal. But, yeah, so, that's, uh, if you wanted to see. Let's see if I can get it to really focus. I 
My best guess is that they're kind of like dandelions where they don't do that, whatever. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. That means a bird, but like specifically. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm having a, a tough time obviously reconciling Ooh. some of my feelings with some of my other feelings, I guess. And, uh, I, you know, I don't even have words for these feelings yet, so it's kind of frustrating. It's like, I know that something needs to change. I just don't know, first of all, even really what's wrong. It's like, if they don't uh, teach you the words for, like, constipated, which is a very specific thing, then you may not be able to figure out that that's, just, like, wrong with you. Whoa. Last year's Queen Anne's lace. Who is Queen Anne? I couldn't tell you. But that's her lace. Here's more of it. This is all her, it's Queen Anne. Oh, this is my favorite plant. This is the white yarrow. And you can see that it's slowly starting to come up. See? And these will be big, this will be like this high. And uh, it'll be these big white ash. This is last year's after it's already lignified. And actually this stuff is the nicest smelling stuff out here. This stuff smells so good. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm always so shocked by it. It's like cinnamon mixed with vanilla. It's so good. So that's Yara. This is exactly what I wanted today. I wanted pink, white, and yellow. And maybe some purple. Anything else would be rare. Uh, a magical place. Look at this. This is the most fra prairie flocks I've seen in my whole life. And mixed in is pussy toes. These ones are kind of starting to turn white almost. Here. My, my camera has kind of a hard time dis uh, you know, there you go. Look at that. What a great expression. These are very majestic, or whatever the word is. Yeah, majestic. I'm just gonna sit here for quite a while, actually. Those are fake flowers, by the way. Oh wait, are those fake? Wait, those may be real daffodils. Oh yeah, these are real daffodils. Look at that. Cute. Yeah, real daffodil. Look at all this yarrow. This area is clearly an area that does not get mowed very often. Look at this yarrow. I'm going to bet to smell all of it. Mmm. Mmm. That's the most orangey I've ever smelled. Each one is a little different. And, um, I'm definitely going to get ticks out here. I'm eating this potato. It's pretty good. Getting sunburnt. This one doesn't have much, much smell. Yeah, not much. Chives. Like, it did smell. It was good, but it wasn't like, there was nothing like distinctive, like, popping about it. Mm, unique, but nothing to write home about. Hmm. I don't know. Not so great. But hey, look at this. Oh, it's like a sun bleached, maybe. Or maybe that's just how it is. But it's, uh, it's a violet. And then right here we got what's known as ground ivy. Hello, 
was wondering what this weird hat is. My partner gave it to me because they went to see this like weird show called Hades or Had Hadzi, Hade something. Someone will know some queer stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You're on the grass right now. You're just leaning against grass. That's a red and black bird. Sorry, I had food in my mouth. That's a red and black bird you heard. Check out this. This is the lignified remains of the arrow from last year that I was talking about. And if you look really carefully, you can see a morning glory stem has, uh, well, was, uh, go, go, bleh, growing around it. And I can tell it's morning glory because there's actually nothing else out here really that gets this precise. Like, um, Oriental Bittersweet doesn't grow like that. I've destroyed it. Ha 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 Um, let me know in the co um, comment section if you know what that that thing is. Because I've been trying to figure it out and I can't. It's just kind of like floating there. and It's been there since I got here. So if you know what that is, let me know. Energy. Joy and positivity. Shout out to Peace Files Podcast. It's a lot of ground ivy. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Go away. Get off my hand. Hey. Stop. She's trying to eat my potato. I'm trying to film my little baby trees. See? Baby trees. They're these things. That's the bigger version. Blech. We're just going to go down all the way this way. I need to get, um, like, a, like a G-I-F, G-A-S, that's the YouTube channel, spell that out. I need to get, like, that type of recording, or S-H-E-I-Y, I think that's it, or maybe I-E-Y, I, -E -Y. I, I don't know, but, either way. Because I gotta get the same setup that those guys have, or similar enough, you know. They got pretty good quality. And I may not be doing as extensive, ridiculous travel, but maybe someday. But at least for here, I want the quality to be good. We'll see how much it would cost. It'd probably be a lot. It'd probably be like prohibitive, prohibitively expensive. But maybe not. I'll have to check into it. My guess is that they're using a 4K GoPro, but I'd probably be t okay with like a 1080. We made it to the path. This is where we kind of left off last time. That's a Japanese barbary, I think. A multi-floral rose. Uh, I didn't really check. Garlic mustard. Yeah, one was barbary, the other was rose. Because that's another barbary. I think I'm saying it right anyway. Wow, look how beautiful this area is. I very rarely walk this trail. It's just not as convenient as not walking this trail. I really like this river a lot. This is not the river that has the waterfall. Wow, it would be so nice to go down there, but there's really no good way to do it because look what I'd have to go up. And like, I could do it. I'm human, like I could do it, but if I crap my pants doing it, I don't want to do that. Virginia Creeper. More thorn barber. Dun dun dun. Sorry, I'm eating the potato stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember it being this clear, first of all. But I, I, I actually don't. 
Oh wow, look at all these little things. Oh look, a little chickadee. I actually don't even remember this path. Like I know that I've probably walked it before, but I just like, I just, I, don't, I, I always come down this way. Like I always go down this and continue down this. But I, I never really do, uh, never really knew that you could just like walk this way, I guess. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I just never did it before. It's in the years that I've been coming here. I don't think I've ever seen that area. Like I was looking down at the river and I was just like, wow. You know, I've been coming here for six years and I don't think I've ever seen that part of the river. It's wacky. And if I have, I think it was winter. But that doesn't even sound right because like, who would walk there in the winter? That was like the middle of nowhere. Look some friends or what will be some friends. And then also some ground ivy and then also some violets. You know, I like to pride myself on exploring every inch of this place. And, um, I was going to make a sex joke, but it'd be inappropriate to make in a cemetery. <laughs> Which, that actually is the joke. It's hard to explain, I guess. Um, I'm sitting in a really cool spot. I'll show you. I'm going to just put down my camera and my backpack and make memory of where I put them down so that even if I have ADHD, I won't forget it. I left my hat out here, my old hat. Well, still my, my current hat. I don't really like it, though. I don't like, not this current hat. This is the new hat. The old current hat. The pink one. The one that's, like, from, like, a, like a casino, I think. I don't know. I didn't know that when I started wearing it, but, like, I don't really care. It's kind of, it's kind of like a meme that I'm supporting, like, a casino because it kind of, like, throws people off because they probably assume that I am, I am lacking intelligence if they see me in that hat, which is good. I'd rather assume them take me for a fool than try to interact with me. But maybe going forward, I'll play a different game and I'll try to look more sophisticated than I am and I'll wear like a suit and tie, could you imagine? Or like a well-fitted hat or like a fedora. That's how you make people think that you're intelligent, you wear a fedora. That's what uh, the men taught me. <laughs> so yeah, so look where I'm sitting. Um, it's on this person. Um, but yeah, just like, I love, I love this area. It's really beautiful. And uh, yeah, I feel blessed to be here. Not much else to say. We are at the very bottom of the North Ridge Road. Oh, there's someone coming, which means I'll have to stop talking and not make any sex jokes about coming. Trying to make the focus. They're doing like original stone masonry. Um, I'll show you the other side. This one they did like uh, two years, maybe one year ago. Do two or one years ago, not long ago. But yeah, you can see. So yeah, I guess they're doing this side this year. So that's pretty cool. I mean, look at these stones, man. Like. I mean, that's some real work, you know? Wild. Okay, I unironically don't want to smell anything coming out of the dead people burner. So, I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of just gonna maybe go this way. And uh, I'll get to where I want later. Wow, it's blooming. I never thought I'd see it bloom again. That's a red maple. Or a Japanese red maple. Wow. Look at all the little baby ones. <sighs> Alright, hopefully we can make it to the top of this hill. This is some quintessential spring nonsense. 
and all this spring nonsense. A bunch of nonsense. I don't want to walk up this. I'm gonna get ticks doing this. I'm gonna be tired if I do this. If I do this, I'll have no energy for later to dance. Then I'll have no friends. Welcome back to Middle Aged Balding Man. So, I just want to speak a little about how much I love flowers. Like, I really do. Wow, I really do have gray hairs. Bruh. I can't believe how old I am. <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's wild. I never ever thought I would have gray hairs. I thought that was just like a meme that happens. But yeah, I mean, I'm getting older. It makes a lot of sense. I'm 30. I mean, you can look at it. I'm wearing like a girl's shirt, but the girl's shirt is just so I can speak about, you know, the Noah's Ark promise and the rainbow from God. And how, like, God destroyed the world, and how all this other stuff. So I looked it up. It's ragwort. That's what they call it. Ragwort. And I, I, I kind of knew that, but I guess I had never really seen it before. Ragwort. I'm glad to have learned that. Uh, <laughs> this one's really beautiful. Ragwort. Okay, so here's something. So you see these? These are purple clovers. Uh, they're kind of rare because, you know, they got these purple flowers and usually clovers have white or red flowers. But in this case, as you can see, they are purple, purple flowers. And then that's from this plant right here. Trifolium um, violiota, the purple clover. Oh wait, wait, the joke doesn't work at all. Oh wait, yes it does, yes it does, the joke works. Because I was thinking that it didn't work because there actually are purple. But they're, they're called red clovers. Ah, oh, the joke is ruined. Because there actually are purple clovers. They're actually, actually most clovers that I see around here are, but they're called red clovers, Trifolium protense. This is, this is just ground ivy. It's stupid joke. This, uh, this is so tractors can drive here. Like, uh, cause so, alright, so here's the story. So back in the day, everyone had horses, right? But then when they replaced horses and carriages, like, you know, like old carriages, um, with like four wheels, you know, the like, wood wheels with like metal around them, the like, carriage wheels, then everyone had to get tractors after that with really big rubber wheels. But they were actually made of wood back then because there was they hadn't invented rubber. Van Antwerp. What a name. It's one of the nicest views in all of Albany's Rural Cemetery. My ISO is a little off, but whatever. More nice stuff. Yeah, I'm tired, man. Um, I'm almost back to my vehicle. And uh, it's been a really good day. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm gonna go sit, rest up, um, drive, pick up my friend, go and spend some time uh, doing nothing, maybe cooking some food. Decompress, vibe. That'll be it, first two weeks of May. Thanks for joining. This has been uh, the first two weeks of May. Well, I guess there'll be more, so actually I shouldn't sign off. But yeah, or, uh, we'll be back whenever.
trying to get down by where the trillium was back when the trillium was blooming for the like two or three days the trillium bloomed this year oh i'm tired you can hear it it's right in the sun oh boy Shit, i was hoping for shade it's all right oh. the wind's blowing like right here The further I move back in the direction the wind was blowing, obviously the more it smells. So I'm hoping that once I get to the other side of this hill bank, that the wind will be stopped by the hill itself, but uh, I don't have high hopes. It's pretty windy. It's blowing the dead people everywhere here. This for a very long time did not have a path. For a very long time, you can see it in a second. Mm, I like to smell this wood. For a very long time, you see how they like now have blocked it off, so people stopped doing it. But yeah, people were just going right up here. I know because that was people, and I was definitely not the first one to do it. There was already a track there because I had just been walking through the tree even when it was there. Oh, it smells. I'm hoping it stops once I get up ahead. I'm hoping to see the geranium, the geranium, the uh, wild geraniums. We already saw one today. But I'm hoping to see another one because this is the first place that I ever saw one was here. And I think it'd just be cute to see the same thing this year to know that I knew that it'd be here. Yes, my favorite spot is shaded. I really hope it doesn't smell like the dead people or the burning thereof. Well, oh, that's not it. That's the little buttercup. Yeah, I don't see it. That's unfortunate. But I'm glad we saw one at least. Boy, am I going to be glad to get to the shade. This is the first time this year that I've just been like, zonked, dude. Glad I didn't bike here, man. Look how tall the garlic mustard got. Holy shit. Tallest garlic mustard in the West. Hey, some trillium. Is that trillium? That might not be trillium. I don't know. I have my doubts that that's trillium, actually. No, I don't think it is. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think that's trillium. I think it's something that looks like trillium, but isn't. I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. I don't know enough about it. I guess I don't know enough about trillium. This is where the geranium was. I mean, you can see that the geranium is still right there. And it looks like it might bloom eventually, but damn, that breeze is really carrying the smell. So I may have to just skip this area today. And this is what I've been looking forward to all day is the waterfall. That's like such a disappointment. Hmm. I'm gonna still try it. Aha! Look at that! I told you. I knew it. Wild geranium. Gosh, that makes me really happy that I didn't just give up. I've been waiting all year for this very, very individual flower. It's the first flower I ever identified, and this is this this individual plant, maybe not. But this individual patch of plants, like this area, um, having geranium is what brought me into the world of flowers. And so I feel really blessed to have made it a full year so that I can now tell you, like, hey, look, I told you. <laughs> I, I knew it. Geranium. Not only did I know it, but things are consistent and you can plan for them ahead of time. And I like that. Because it means that you can make a promise to yourself and to the universe and keep it. See, here's another one. And so I remember finding this and just being so blown away by its beauty. And knowing that I just, like, I was like, what is this flower? And how do I not know about it? Like, what is this force of nature that is so bewildering to me that has been with me my whole life, but I've just never given consideration towards? And, um, yeah, so that's how I started falling in love with flowers. Thanks for joining. This has been Rainbows and Razor Blades. Um... There's not really much else to say. I'm going to go hang out on my favorite bridge. I'm going to maybe smoke some weed. I'm going to look at the time. It's probably a little too late to smoke too much. Which is a shame because I have to just like be so responsible and drive everywhere now. It sucks. And, uh, but yeah. Oh, the air here is so fresh. Wow. I'm so happy to have made it. It's been a full year since I started my flowers project. And I just feel like a totally different person. 
as when I started, and I hope for as much growth this year, if not more. And um, I'm really looking forward to sharing myself with the universe and sharing myself with the internet, which is part of the universe now, which is pretty lit. And uh, yeah, I don't really have much else other than that to say. This is, uh, this is it. Thanks guys so much for joining. We'll be back next time with more rainbows and razor blades.